Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive here, fine tune CB. It's been a long night again. So I'm gonna do this one, and I get to go to bed, wake up, and whip out a whole bunch more. It'll be radios, amps, radios, and amps. These two here, this, these two are going to Massachusetts, so you know who they are. By Friday. All right, this one has the Max Mod in it. And it has allowed me to alter the tune slightly and substantially lower the temperature. That's been in, that's done by a couple of different ways. Anyone that's had one of these on the bench knows this, they're a lot different. And uh, biasing versus gate voltage versus by the book, it's two different things. Totally different. So considering that the Max Mod's on the side of the radio, this chassis is so small that the tip 36 would transfer the heat right back to the back of the radio and then give it even more heat and then that heat created more heat considering that it carries or it's capable of way more amperage it remains cooler you're not going to see the same carrier you're not going to see quite the same radios out of the box will it outperform it like this? yes especially with sound quality so don't be looking for no 100 watts or, you know, a 20 watt key. I'll go through that here in a second. Still have a modulated carrier. I'll show you here a little bit more in a second. The major feat is eliminating all the IMD. These things are bad with it, which generates the intermodulation distortion, is what helps to generate the heat, and by eliminating it, eliminating a lot of heat. I still wouldn't run this wide open power for you know half hour at a time these things need air no matter what okay with this mic the static mic where I'll let you hear the top back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's echo one two three four five six seven eight nine ten breaker 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 that's what this one right here yeah it's gonna squeal mics right there turn the top back back down Yes, that's my ranger up there. We'll use it right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No echo. No echo at all. And the mic I recommend would be Trusty SRA 198. You don't need anything fancy. Most of the guys will. If you don't have mine, you realize you turn the echo on and off. It turns into a mud duck when you turn the echo on. Not with mine. That's all resolved. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Let's see if you can hear it right there. If it starts to squeal, it's only because it's so close. No echo. And uh, echo reverb on right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Totally natural. And you can see how it's performing. There's no doubt about that. I would run it halfway. And if you're going down the highway, you're not bucket mouth and back and forth constantly. You can just leave it right here. If you need to get out and touch someone, yes, it's only a couple more watts. You can run it wide open. Find out where the cops are, where the accident is, where the accident is in the snow, whatever the case is. And I'll show you the receive, too. You could do that. You, know, you want a bucket mouth, well, halfway is like about 8 watts. That's like a really, really, really good export dual final radio of the past. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Breaker, breaker. That's what it's going to be. Still, if you want to talk non-stop, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys look, got a lot of hot air. <laughs> yeah. Then you should be able to run it down to a quarter power. I still have some power. It's over 4 watts. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, 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 break. Audio. And you can talk, 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 talk. It still has to have circulation. You can't cover it up. This has to get air, okay? I'm not trying to say, you know, it'll, it'll blow up real easy. 
No, you, you just have to use some common sense. You stick it in a hole, you turn it on, it starts to warm up just because it's on. And then you start talking on it, it generates more heat, more heat, more heat. It has to have some type of circulation, okay? Something. For the size of these, yeah, it's a cool little radio, there's no doubt about that. Extra, extra features, channels, and the receive. I got them working really nice. We'll get into that here in a second. All right. exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm noticing some guys are having issues with that. Okay, now we'll, we'll go on down. Well, let's turn this on. So you can see it. And you can shut that off. Yeah! Alright, so let's drop it down. 80... 97. Okay, we're at 101. Now we're at 1314 dB cyanide. 104. 105. It's flashing back and forth 1112. But you can see it. Now we'll, we'll, we'll take it right off the scale. And remember, you're going to start getting used to watching this instead of listening to it. This is much more accurate than listening to a noise especially at the noise floor. That's still tone. I'll let you hear it. Hear it? Way more tone than noise. That's at 112. We're down to 117. 120. 137. Okay. Well, you're not going to hear that, but it's doing great.